We'll guide you through how to make an Apple ID for a child. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, the parent or guardian needs to go onto their device and they need to go and open up the settings app just like this. And you'll probably be right at the top. And then all they need to do is go and click on their name at the top to go and get into their Apple ID settings. In here, scroll down and go and click on family sharing like this. And then what you need to do is go and click on the add button in the top right like this. And it'll go and take a moment to load. And this is the invite page. And then as you can see, we've then got the option for create child account. So you can then go and click there like so. And you'll need to go and enter your child's first name and their last name, which I'll go and do now. After you've entered their name and birthday, you'll then need to go and click on verify you're an adult. And to provide consent to create this child account, you need to go and enter the security code for your card. It does say this is purely for verification purposes and you won't be charged. You'll need to read through and agree to the family privacy disclosure to continue. I've already read it. And you also need to go through the terms and conditions as well. I've already read them. So I'll go click agree in the bottom right. Now you need to go and set up an email. After you've done that, you'll then need to go and set a password. You'll need to choose a phone number you want to use. Personally, I'll just use my one, but you can always use a different one if you'd like. You can then choose to set up screen time if you'd like, and you can then choose what content can be accessed. I'll just go and leave that for, as default. Uh, I'll press continue here. There's a bit more information about screen distance. Um, and you can also go and keep track of screen time. I'll just click up set up later for now. And then I'll go and set up a parental controls lock. You can then choose to turn off, ask to buy if you'd like. I'll keep that turned on though. I'll press continue. I'll skip the sharing location though. And that's it, it's now all set. So you can press done. And that's it, you've now gone and created an Apple ID for a child.